Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled Walk Through Hactoria Geolocation 08. Note, the Hactoria website no longer has geolocation challenges, therefore all the links have been removed. This blog entry is for legacy purposes only. Feel free to give it a go by attempting to geolocate the image before reading the walkthrough. Back again with another Hactory geolocation walkthrough, this time on challenge 08. I must confess that this image took me a bit longer to locate than I anticipated at first. Getting to the correct country was extremely easy and fast, but then getting from the country to the exact location was a completely different matter. If you're stuck in this tight spot or if you can't even get to the correct country, keep reading and hopefully this will all make sense to you. Geolocation 08 and this is the picture we were given. Question, what is the name of the city where this photo was taken? So first things first, let us right click the image and save it on a desktop. Then open it, zoom it all over the place to get as many pieces of information as possible, which I've done. Here we go, you can zoom it around, look at all the stuff like, hmm, interesting, isn't it? Interesting, hmm. Not much going on there though. The first useful thing I noticed was a mosque, which is their center right area. There you are, that one. The street is big and wide and empty. I can tell this is a Google Street View due to the light watermark all over the sky that says Google 2020. One there, one there, one there. This tells me that I will be able to find this location on Google Maps using the Street View option. This makes it easier when trying to pinpoint the exact area. If there is no Street View available when I'm looking at, I do not need to bother with it as it will be wrong anyway. The correct location will have Google Street View and this already narrows it down a bit since certain countries do not allow Google Street View and I'm looking at you Germany. Another thing that strikes me is the amount of security. It's not over the top like you would find in South Africa, but it's much more than you find in Spain, for example. Well, there's like barbed wire and stuff like that. The type of residential building is telling me Eastern Europe. Tall blocks of flats with some colors splashed around on a mainly white base. If you Google Eastern Europe residential building, you'll see what I mean. This is the sort of stuff you find. The mosque, however, is telling me to look a bit more south than Eastern Europe, perhaps the Ottoman Empire area, excluding this North African region, perhaps. Now that I have an idea in my head where I'm looking at, I'm going to crop that mosque and see what I can get. And this is a mosque from the picture. As usual, Google and Bing are of little use when it comes to reverse image search, but then comes our friend Yandex to save the day. I'm always very curious to read what it says under the, the image appears to contain. Unfortunately, I do not read Russian, so I just have to translate it all. And then according to Google, the first bit, this one means Mosque, Turkey, Istanbul. Second one, Turkey Mosque, Mosque, the city of Istanbul, Turkey, mosque right so we got some leads yandex is telling me this is a mosque because we already knew that anyway and this is located in turkey perhaps istanbul before we follow that line of thought there's a few th other things i'd like to check to confirm we're looking at the right place another detail i noticed when i first looked at the picture was how interesting the sidewalk was there was a small pattern on it that at first does not feel remarkable, but if you have been to Europe, you might have noticed a difference between countries' sidewalks. I have lived in several European countries and I can assure you that each one has a slightly different sidewalk style that you can usually find in the more central area of big city. I decided to just search for Turkey sidewalk and after looking at far too many turkeys, I spotted a few images with the same type of sidewalk pattern as the one found on the geolocation challenge. Look at that. I'll, I'll show you. Look. Patterned. And bringing the picture. Look at that. Look at that pattern there. Isn't it? There. There. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I understand that this is confirmation bias. I searched for Turkey sidewalks. I found what I was looking for. However, at this point, I was not trying to find the country, I was just trying to confirm my suspicions. 
Another interesting thing I like to search for in images is the type of flora present. Searching and identifying types of trees, bushes, flowers, etc. can be very useful when trying to pinpoint locations on a map. So let us see what this tree is on the right. Oh my god, all the way up. Should I just grab the photo? This one there on the right. That's the one I mean. Let's try to figure out what this is. Okay, back again. Where was I? I used plant.id and got a few options. It gives me the result of Pinus or Pinus Silvestris with a 23.2% certainty. A number does not inspire much confidence, but the more I look at the tree, the more it does seem like a pine tree, so I'm just going to assume it's correct. Time to go to Wikipedia and see where I can find this Pinus Silvestris. Mm, a lot. It does cover Turkey, as expected, you go, but just the northern part. Mm, this is very helpful to start narrowing it down within the country. It is contradic contradictory <laughs> with the previous information I got from Yandex telling me that the mosque was probably in Istanbul because look at that, that's where Istanbul is. That section, don't see it. You can also tell a lot about the mosque based on the minaret style. Below are some of the examples of different types of minarets. In the middle, the characteristic Ottoman Empire minaret. Similar to the one seen in the Mosque of Geolocation 08 image. Let me just bring it again. That's the style. And there you go. It's, it's quite similar. Unfortunately, I could not find a list of all the mosques in, in, in Turkey organized by style. There are endless lists of the most famous mosques, but from the image we can tell this is not the main mosque. It is decent sized, but it's probably not going to be a top 10 or whatever number you want list. So I decided to just try to narrow it down by geographical area. I know that the street from the challenge is unlikely to be located in the southern and western regions of Turkey, so we can at least start there. Searching for regions of Turkey, we get this map. Then I superimpose the region's image above with the native pine region using Photopea and got the image below. I know I did not do a great job with the merging, just enough to get the gist of it. I started focusing my search on the Black Sea coast, so there were, that one top, see where it matches all of that, Central Anatolia, there in the middle, and Eastern Anatolia, there you go, so there there and that section there. I can see how it also touches a bit of the Marmara, that one, there, there, and the Asian regions, but I need to start narrowing down somewhere, so this is it. It is still quite a huge area to cover, so I try thinking more strategically. I can see from the geolocation challenge picture that the area is quite urban, but not too busy as to indicate a city center. It is definitely not a rural area either, so I'm guessing I'm looking at the suburbs of a big Turkish city. Whilst looking for more details that could help me, I decided to focus on the power lines. I will show you. Oh, wait, this, this is the one. This one. Let's look at it now. A quick Google check identifies them as fir tree mast shape, there you go, that one, with a double circuit, 345 kilovolt power, this, look at that, I'm an expert now. So now the question is, where are these types of power lines located in Turkey? Another quick Google search and I found the map below showing different types of power and transmission lines in Turkey. You can find if you right click on it, open it to the original size, you'll be able to read the legend on the right bottom corner indicating that the color we're looking for is a dark brown, so the really dark ones there. The thicker one, yeah. So there's no 345 kilovolt key, but there is a 380 kilovolts, which is the closest one, fingers crossed, it's similar enough to help us, maybe I was wrong. If we compare the map above and the map showing Turkey's big cities, we can attempt to narrow down our search even more. 
So if we then combine all the previous maps into one, we see that there are a few cities that match all the criteria. They will have native pine trees, 345 slash 380 kilovolt power lines, will be a big city with suburbs and will certainly have plenty of mosques. I can spot Ankara being the biggest one, there you go, very big city. And then plenty of cities around the Sakarya province there. I will spare you the details on how I spent days, days, looking through hundreds, thousands of mosques on Google Maps. At some point, after using a ridiculous amount of keyword variations and cropping the original images and then reverse searching it using another keyword combinations and variations, I stumbled upon the winning combination. I used the screenshot below showing the building and the power line to do a reverse search image on Yandex. Then on the search bar, I added the name of the city Ankara. So it would look for this building only in Ankara, Turkey. And this is what I found. I had already scrolled a bit when I noticed the building very similar to the one I was looking for. Oh my God. Second line with a red rectangle around it. I mean, I have the cursor on now. I opened the image and got some more information and the link. Oh wow. Okay, I clicked on the park. Oh god, I don't know. Sif click Konutlari Ansa Yapi link on the right, which led me to this page. The building looks very familiar. So maybe let's compare the photo I found on the left with the one I cropped from the original geolocation challenge on the right. Amazing resemblance. And what do we see behind the building on the left? A power line. Yes. Okay, there's a nice row of Pinus Silvestris, our tree friend from a while ago. The number of flats in the building is the same. The shape, color, everything matches. It seems the photo on the website was taken from the other side of the building. So now we just need to figure out where it's located. Using the information we already had from the website where we found the last photo, we can just put on Google Maps Park Siflik Konutlari. And this is what we get. The residential area looks quite familiar. And what a lovely surprise, there's a mosque. There's a mosque there. Knowing that the mosque in the original picture was located on the right, Almost at the end of the road, we can position ourselves to where the screenshot had been taken, shown by the red arrow above there. And using Google Street View, we can check it out. Look at that. And it is a match. That is amazing. It took so long though. I'm just going to show you as well. So, Pegman. And rotate. And there you go. This is it. This is our picture. Wow. We can compare them for the sake of it, but it's quite clearly the location where the image was taken. On the left, location the original image from Hactoria's Geolocation 08 challenge. On the right, the screenshot I took after finding the location. You can see there's a match on the street light. There, there, unfinished building. That one in the back there. There. On the center left, the white and green, blue, I don't know, building on the center right, this one, or no, sorry, that's not green and blue, <laughs> that one, <laughs> that one in the back. Uh, the mosque, yeah, there's the mosque, there's the mosque, and the white and orange building that helped us identify the location, this one, the big one. And now we can answer the question, what is the name of the city where this photo was taken, Ankara? And these are the exact coordinates. This was so far the hardest of the geolocation challenges I completed from Hactoria. It took me days and I kept second guessing myself. My advice, just step away if necessary, breathe, do something else. I hope that was informative and helpful in case you were stuck. If you reached the same conclusion using a different method, feel free to share it as I would be very, very happy to learn new techniques and or tools. Thank you for listening, Sophia.